previously with Bishop Fay. Don't we don't discern men. Grace pass us by because we commonize grace. Then we remain in the same position and we say, God, why? During COVID period, one of my sons connected me with somebody in Canada. When I began to talk to the man, the guy sounded very, very logical. So this guy had a large space of land, he built duplexes there. When he was done building the house, there's a, there's, there's a license you also get from the government or like um, a certificate that the house has been properly built. So people started buying the house. One of the persons that bought the house went to what we call Ministry of Lands in Nigeria and they found out that the, the accreditation number was wrong. So from the way it was sounding, I just said, what, what do I do to this one? I was looking for a way to put him off so that I won't pray for him. And I told him, send me a seed of $5,000. Then I'll pray for you. He said, no problem, I'll send it. So when the money came, I was in a corner. I have two options. Either I send the money back or I make sure a miracle happens. I prayed and I told him one day, I just called him a few days. I said, go back there and tell them to check the, the document for your house again. And he went. And when he, when he went, they gave him the license number. They said, yes, that's been done. They, they wrote the name of the person that inspected it. And they said, there's nothing wrong with your property. Sell, leave. Ah, the guy was shocked. The guy called me. He said, sir, how did that happen? Do you know somebody in Canada? I said, I don't know anybody there. How did you do that? And the guy called me back. He said, sir, but the case is in, police, in the police station already. I said, go to the police station. Go and meet the inspector, whoever is in charge. Ask for the case file. Tell them, ask, see what they will tell you. He went to the police station. He asked for the case file. There was no case file like that. And the guy, then the guy called me back. He said, sir, uh, no, I want to give you a gift. I said, what is it? He said, I want to give you one of my, one of the duplexes. I said, awesome. Then he gave me one of the duplexes in Canada. The other, he gave me the how. Few days after that, the Spirit of the Lord just told me about him. And I saw that this guy, though as rich as, rich as, he, as he is, he converses as an adult on the road everywhere in his car when i called him up i said i know you don't believe in miracles but this happens to you he said yes it's been happening since birth he's on a drug and all of that i said don't worry the last one that happened is the last time he said are you sure he said ah, you don't need to pray i'm on i'm fine i said no i said it will be the last time so why are you doing this i said oh no Just like the Shunammite woman saw Elijah walking on the street and called Elisha. He said, man of God, please come and eat in my house. Come and sleep in my house. Elisha entered the house, ate in the house, ate in the house, slept in the house. Kept doing that for days, for years, for months. One day, Elisha slept on the waterbed, ate nice pepper soup, woke up the next morning. He said, no, this woman, I must do something for you. He has found out that the woman does not have a child. He said, sir, doesn't have a child. Elisha called, I said, to a woman, you don't have a child. By this time next year, according to the time of life, you will have a child. I said, sir, don't sweet talk me. I don't need a child. I'm fine. At first, Elijah said, should I connect it to the government? Top people said, no, I don't need that. I'm fine. I'm rich. Elijah said, you will have a child this time next year. I said, I do not believe. That was the meaning of our statement. I do not believe. I don't need a child from you. Elisha said, it's not possible. Grace cannot enter your house and come out like that. You cannot honor me and not get something in return. According to the time of life, she had a child. You know what I found out? I found out that the only time faith is not required to produce a miracle is when honor is in place and the woman got a miracle. So I told this, my son now, he's my son now, I told him the same thing. I said, the only time faith is not required to get a miracle it's when honor is in. You have honored me. That is the last time you will come back. See you today, over a year now. He has not. I reign, helping you reign in life.